Hello, and welcome to another Reaper tutorial. In this video, I want to show you how to fix a pretty common error that usually affects people who are pulling in a video clip for the first time in Reaper. I see this happen a lot with people using M4A or MP4 videos. So let's look at this problem. We have a video clip here, so let's grab this and drag it into Reaper. If you do, you get a very nice ugly error pop up that says could not import one of one items. To fix this, we need to install some video codecs. And there are a few ways to do this. So if you only need to view the video file in Reaper, then head to the time you see on your screen now. But if you need to view the video and export it, head to this other time that's on the screen right now. And please forgive my unforgivable use of Microsoft Edge. I'm just using a virtual machine to run a new installation of Windows and Reaper so I can show you what this looks like from a fresh install. First, you'll need to navigate to videoland.org slash VLC. Then you'll select this dropdown right next to the download VLC button and find your operating system. I'm using Windows 64-bit, so I'll select that one. And this will take a few seconds to download, so I will do that. Once it downloads, you can click on it and start the install. Okay, this installer is up and running now. You can just click through most of these things, but I recommend just unchecking every other option except for the media player at the very top, which is required. If you don't, it's just going to add a bunch of the crap to your computer that you don't really need. All we need this for is for the codex that it has. So we can just hit install in the default location and this will be just fine. Okay, once this installs, I'm just gonna uncheck run. I don't need it to run at all. We'll click finish and we'll open up Reaper once again. We may need to close this first and then reopen it. Okay, great. And let's try our little test again. So we're gonna go find our video, drop this in, and it should work just fine for you right now. So if I open up my view video, where is it? There we go, use control shift V, I forget where it is in the menu. Uh, you should be able to see and hear your video at this point. So this is all working great. And if this is all you need was to view videos, then you're all done and I'll see you later. But please subscribe on your way out because it's free for you and it helps me out. Uh, but if you are exporting video from Reaper, then we're not finished yet you'll need to download some FFmpeg files from this site, this gyan.dev slash FFmpeg slash builds. We'll put this in the description for you as well. Uh, so you'll need to scroll down to the release builds and download this FFmpeg release full shared dot seven Z. This is a seven zip file. So once you download it, you'll need to unzip it and you can do that by either installing 7-Zip or using WinRAR if you already have that. So we'll put the link for 7-Zip in the description. But it's a site that looks like this. Once you've downloaded and unzipped that file uh, into its own folder like I've done here, you can go into the folder and go to the bin folder within that. And you're just gonna copy everything in here. You can drag over it or hit Control A and Control C to copy everything in there. Next is to go to Reaper's resource path. You can do that by clicking options and then show Reaper resource path in Explorer Finder. So it'll open up a new window for you that points at Reaper's resource path. And in here, we're going to go into the user plugins folder and paste everything that we just copied from over here. Now that we've done that, we can restart Reaper. And once Reaper opens up, let's go check our video preferences by going to Options and Preferences or Control P. And you'll scroll down to Video slash Import slash MISC. And in here, I wanna point you toward the Video Decoder Priority so this is the default that Reaper puts in for you. You don't need to change anything about this necessarily. If you wanted to clean it up, you could delete everything after FFmpeg and it should work just fine. But let's check uh, if Reaper is recognizing the new codecs by going into the show available decoder information button up there 
and taking a look under this ffmpeg slash lib av header. If you see something that ends in this av codec 58 or something similar, then Reaper is recognizing the right codec for you. And another way we can check this out, if we close this, hit OK, hit OK, and we open up our render options here. If you click under the format and go to FFmpeg and then change the format within that to QT MOV MP4, you should see H.264 as your first video codec option there. If you see that, that means that Reaper is recognizing the new FFmpeg codecs. When I initially tried this, I had to reinstall Reaper for it to recognize the right FFmpeg file. Uh, there's a default FFmpeg file that's already installed in one of Reaper's folders, and it is not the one we want to use. So if you end up not being able to get that to work, reinstalling Reaper should help you out there. But please let me know in the comments if this doesn't solve your problem. Otherwise, I hope this video helped you reap the benefits of Reaper.